Happy Friday, friends. I am Kay Simpson. Look, I've got some good news for you. This is the Faith Community Podcast. And we have been doing a lot of the recordings from our homes, from our desk, and all that craziness because of all the crazy stuff out in the world. And next week, I'm pretty sure you do not have to look at my grainy camera from my couch anymore. We will be back in the home studios at church. Um, I think Erin is getting it all set up. So we will be coming live to you from back at the studio. So I'm excited about it. I feel like this camera is a little grainy. I just feel like it's so much nicer when it looks professional. But anyway, I'm so thankful we've just been able to keep up with each other and with you through all of this, no matter what. So coming to you, hopefully, last time from home. I am Kay Simpson. This is Faith Community. We just welcome having you here, listen to our podcast. We try to go live five before noon every day during the week. Pastor John, a lot of guests, Pastor Teresa, and we're just thankful to have you tune in. And we hope this five to ten minutes really encourages you. So we are walking through Psalm 23. And the part I'm going to talk to you about today is in verse 4. I'm going to read you three different versions because I don't know about you, but when I do that, it really helps me to see different words, to see different perspectives. So I'm going to try it for you. So Psalm 23, 4 in the NIV, and this is what we're usually used to. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. The message version says, even when the way goes through death valley, I'm not afraid when you walk at my side. And then the Passion Version says, Lord, even when your path takes me through the valley of deepest darkness, fear will never conquer me, for you already have. Wow. So, a couple notes that I wrote down I wanted to share with you. We are walking it through darkness. So I've never thought about it this way. Like it is completely dark probably or it just feels super dark if we visualize walking through a dark valley. Like close your eyes unless you're driving. Don't do that. But close your eyes and just visualize this, that we are out in Death Valley. It is pitch black. There's rocks. It's unstable where we're walking. There may be cactuses or things growing. Or we might be out in the desert and the wind is blowing and the sand is blowing. There might be animal sounds. You know, just close your eyes and think about that, how dark it really can be. And sometimes you just really can't see anything. You don't know where to step. Your balance can be off. I don't know about you. When I close my eyes, my balance can get a little bit off. So it doesn't mention in the verse, you guys, if you walk through the valley. It says when. So in other words, I feel pretty sure that the guarantee is, or the rest of the story is, there are going to be times that we're going to be out in the valley, right? So when. So it's pretty straight, I'm pretty sure. So no matter what, no matter how dark that valley gets or how dark it feels, he is going to be right there next to us. He is going to be comforting us. So what I feel like in this darkness, I love to visualize this. We are in the dark, but in the dark, if you close your eyes, you can still hear his voice, even though you can't see him. We can feel his breath. I like to be close enough. I can feel his breath. We can sense his movement. So like if he's walking right beside us and he goes to, to the right, we're like, oh, well, we should go right with him, right? So if he goes left, if he stops moving for a minute, we're going to stop as well. We can feel his hands on our life, you know, and we can know for sure all is not lost. I just really get that assurance from that. We are assured of his presence in this valley because he said so. He says it right there in his word. So we're going to take his word for it. And it's like an assurance ahead of time. Like it's a guarantee. We can put that in our pocket and know the next valley that comes, the next thing that comes we got to remember, he is with us in that valley. He is walking us through it. We have no fear of no evil to be worried about, right? That sounds kind of crazy the way I said it. Um, but don't miss the point, you guys, that it says we are walking. We are not sitting in the valley. We're not laying down, playing dead in the valley. We are not 
um, asleep in the valley. We are walking through the valley. It is not our permanent address. It is not our permanent home. We are walking through the valley, and he is walking through it with us every step of the way. He does not say, here, stand right here. I'll be right back. He says, I am with you. And it is not where we're going to permanently stay. Also, it doesn't say we're running through the valley. Like we're going to go through it step by step with him until we figure out what it is we need to know, what it is we need to learn, what it is this lesson is for us. We're not running through it. We're not missing it. Y'all, even in this, the evil does not produce fear in us. You know why? Because who is with us? He is with us. He says he is with us. So we have no room for fear, right? So even if you're in a deep, sunless valley, if you feel like you're under the shadow of death, just remember he is right there with you. Feel his breath on your neck. Feel him walking right there. Feel him holding on to your shoulder. Feel every step of the way and just know that he is guiding us and we can rest assured in that. We can just keep on walking one foot in front of the other. So even if it feels super dark, feels super unstable, like there's stones in front of us and the terrain is unsteady. We, we hear animal sounds in the background, maybe a coyote like living in the country with me. We can be assured that he is our journey partner through this valley. So I just want to remind you of that. I just wanted to um, give you a little hope with that. And I want to pray for us, okay? Lord, I just thank you so much for the reminder of even though it feels dark, even though we feel like we are just putting our hands out in front of us and walking forward sometimes until we hit the next obstacle, we know that you have our hands, that you have our feet, that you are walking right there alongside with us. We're just so thankful for the reminder of that, that you stand up against the evil, that we have no fear as long as you're walking with us and you said in your word that you are. So as believers, we're going to believe that. And we're just so thankful for that today. Amen. So guys, have an amazing weekend. I hope to see a bunch of you guys on Sunday. I'll be out front. Would love to give you an elbow high five, whatever you're comfortable with. And um, if not, tune in here. It'll be on Facebook. Two of the services, it'll be, make sure I'm telling you the right time, nine o'clock and 11 o'clock. So you don't have to sign up if you want to come to service or we can just see you there. Bring your friends. We're, we're open for guests. And um, if not, you can tune in right here and I hope to see you soon. Take care.